Governor Brad Little is repealing an executive order banning mask mandates across the state. 24 hours after Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan issued the surprise action while the governor was out of town. In a statement, Little slammed McGeehan issuing the executive order as an irresponsible, self-serving political stunt that subverted the decisions of local officials and the people of Idaho. McGeehan was serving as acting governor when she issued the order banning mask mandates statewide among state political entities, including schools. It's just difficult for me to go around the state and talk to people that are still being forced to wear these masks and do different things. The order went into effect at 11 a.m. Yesterday, catching districts by surprise in the middle of the school day, Little, who had left Idaho to travel to the Republican Governors Association Conference, said that he was not informed about the executive order ahead of time. McGeehan is running against Little in the upcoming governor's race. In his statement, Little accused McGeehan of making a politically motivated power grab to strip decision-making authority for mayors from mayors, school board board members and other local officials saying in part the action that took place while I was gone this week is not gubernatorial. The action that took place was an irresponsible self serving political stunt taking the earliest opportunity to act solitarily on a highly politicized polarizing issue without conferring with local jurisdictions, legislators and the sitting governor is simply put an abuse of power. Little reiterated that the order to ban mass mandates conflicts with other Idaho laws and presents, quote, some pretty alarming unintended consequences. The governor's executive order functionally undoes McGeehan's action and it returns Idaho law to what it was before. You can read the governor's full statement on our website, ktvb.com.